What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be jumping into Premiere and showing you a crop feather transition. It is so simple and I love it. So let's show you what it looks like. This tutorial is brought to you by DotCase. They've created the newest USB-C hub with a display for your MacBook or iPad. More about this later, but click the link in the description down below if you want to back this project on Kickstarter. All right, so these are the clips that we're going to be working with in Premiere, and let's show you how to do this transition because it's fairly simple. All right, so say you have this first clip right here and we want to transition into this clip. What we need to do first is actually drag this clip on top of this video layer and we need to apply an effect. So head on to the effects tab and type in crop and you're going to want to find this video effects transform crop tool and drag that onto your top video layer. Well, how does this work? Well, if you drag any of the left, top, right, or bottom percentages to the right, you'll see that it'll start to crop away that image based on whatever parameter you selected. Like if I drag the top to the right, you can see that it's dragging down from the top all the way from zero to 100%. 100% meaning that it goes away entirely and 0% means that it's the original image. So since this is our top image, we know that we wanna start from 100%. So let's start by dragging the left cropping all the way to 100% and that will delete pretty much or crop out this entire image that we are transitioning into. Add a keyframe there and let's go a couple frames by using the arrow keys or hold shift right to jump five frames in that direction. Or you can just simply hold the space bar and see how long we want this transition to last. So let's say that we want this transition to last that long. All you need to do is drag your crop tool all the way back down to 0% or click and type in zero. It will add another keyframe. Now, if you play this back, It'll look like that. As you can see, it's quickly cropping, but here's where we're gonna make this a little bit more dynamic. We're going to zoom in a little bit and right click on our first keyframe, go to ease out, right click on our second keyframe and go to ease in. If you play that back already, it looks like this. So it looks a little bit better, but we're gonna even jump in here a little bit more and click this down arrow and zoom in a little bit so we can actually manipulate the speed of this graph. And you can adjust this around as needed. So what I'm gonna do is pull this bottom one to the right, keeping that in line, as this will pull this out and then smooth it in. So if you play that back, it looks like this. So it's kind of like a nice fast wipe, but watch what happens. If you look at this line that we're creating, it's a pretty harsh line right here in the center. So what you can actually do is adjust the edge feather. If you increase that edge feather, it will actually blend these together a little bit more and so forth. So I typically like keeping this around 100 to 150, somewhere around there. And then when you play the transition back, it actually looks pretty smooth. All right, let's show you another example really quick. Now you can also drag the video you are transitioning from on top if you don't want to drag the other video on top. This is just a different way of doing it, but it also will work. If we drag our cropped effect onto that first video layer, you'll see that if we click on this video layer and adjust the cropping, we are simply removing this video. So you can either remove the video or you can add it back in. So for this example, we want to go from this video into this one right here. So let's do a simple crop. And for this one, we're gonna start at zero and then end at 100%. What happens if you actually keyframe from the left and the right? Well, if we drag this a couple frames and then drag the left all the way to, let's say, 50%, you'll see that it goes to the middle. So I wanna go a little bit over, so I'm gonna drag 51% on the left and 51% on the right. That way it meets in the middle. And if I play this back, you'll see that we're actually cropping into the center, which is pretty nice and a unique effect. Now, you should note that you can also adjust all of these keyframes if you want to get into like weird croppings and um, different effects, but I like just keeping it simple since this is a simple transition. Now, I'm gonna highlight both these first keyframes, go to ease out, highlight my second ones, go to ease in, as this will smooth these ramps. Again, I'm gonna drag the speed graph to the right a little bit on that first one and the right on the next keyframe as well. So the first keyframes are pulled out to the right. This will start slow and end fast. So as you see right there, that's a nice little barn doors or middle um, transition, pretty easy to do.
And this would be so easy to make a preset pack if you want. All you have to do is right click on your um, effect and click save preset for later. All right, I think I like the look of the harshness of this, but if I change this uh, edge feather to 100, you'll see that it actually starts to blend a little bit more and it's pretty smooth. So let's check in on today's sponsor. This is a world's first visual hub with a 1.3 inch HD display screen, which can detect and show you the working status of connected devices and their real time temperature. The visual dock will show you real time information about your connections, whether the data transfer speed is the maximum speed or also whether your HDMI output works in the best resolution. With 100 watt power delivery, I can minimize the connections to my MacBook Pro and still have power running all day. With the detachable version, you could easily get a longer cord to minimize desk space your peripherals are taking up. Be sure to click the link in the description down below if you would like to check out the dot case smart hub to pick one up for yourself. This thing goes with me everywhere and it just works. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm always trying to make these videos awesome and I'm kind of running out of ideas. So hit me in the comments what you want to see next.